Hello, my brothers. Hello, my sisters. Another beautiful, blessed day today. Just to always be in the praise of the Lord. Another day just to give Him the thanks right now. Another day just to give Him the praise right now. Another day just to give Him the glory right now. Another day just to magnify and exalt His holy name right now. Because today is the day that the Lord has made. And I am so glad, so glad to be a part of it and rejoice in it. I want to say happy 4th of July to all my brothers, all my sisters, every young man and every young lady in the world today. But right now, it's day to, to give God some thanks right now and give God some praise right now. Today is the day for every last one of us to exalt his holy name and know for a fact that our God is good. He is loving. He is faithful. He is merciful. He is the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. He will never walk out on us. and He will never leave us. He will never forsake us. We can call on his name and we can ask for anything in his name and he will always do it for us. Because according to the will of God, he's a man not to lie. He's a man not to change his mind. He's not going to start something and say, you know what, never mind. I think I ought to give it to somebody else. He's not going to act on something if he don't come through. If he said he's going to do something, he's going to do it. If he started anything, he got to finish. If he acted on anything, he have to bring it to pass. But the whole point what I'm making right now today, praise is an everyday thing. Praise have to be an everyday thing into you. You want to you, you wanna have to praise him. Look what he has done for you. Look what everything he has brought you out of. You got to think about the, the times when you didn't, when you know that you got in trouble, you know that you did wrong. And God still made a way for you. He still watched over you. He still protected you, even though that you was in the wrong. But he still cared for you anyway. Come on now, somebody got to know what I'm talking about on this. Because there's been plenty of time before I came a pastor that I did things wrong. And I know I did wrong. I know I was been caught in the act. But my Heavenly Father God had his grace and his mercy around me. So that's why I thank him the way I do. That's why I praise him the way I do. Because he deserves all the things, praise and glory each and every day. I could have been somewhere else today. But he woke me up again, gave me another chance, and he gave me another opportunity right now today. A lot of people didn't even make it today. But you made it today. Doesn't he deserve the thanks for it right now? Doesn't he deserve the praise for it right now? Doesn't he deserve the glory right now? Praise is an everyday thing. Because our Heavenly Father God is still on the throne. He is still performing miracles and wonders each and every day. He is still in the healing business. And he's still also in the blessing business. Open up your mouth right now today. Open up your mouth right now today. And give him some thanks right now. Give him some praise right now. And give him some glory. You'll shout up the football games on that, wouldn't you? You would sit there and shout at the basketball game was on with me. You would shout if you was watching a basket a basketball match. You would shout if you was at the club. You would shout if you was hanging with your homeboys. You would shout if you was hanging with your homegirls. So why you can't shout and give God the thanks and praise and glory for who he is? You'll shout for all the other things, but you won't shout for Jesus. It's something wrong with that picture, my brothers and my sisters. But if you don't want to shout, if you don't want to praise, if you don't want to dance and cut a rug, I will. I will. I'm going to praise. I'm going to shout. I'm going to dance. I'm going to cut a rug. I'm going to do everything. Because I'm in love with Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise is what I do. Praise is what I do. Hallelujah. I want to give a shout out to all my brothers, all my sisters. Every young man, every young lady right now today, around the world, around the globe, around the universe right now today. I want to thank y'all guys so much from the bottom of my heart for always taking y'all time out out of y'all busy schedule to always be part of today's service. Thank y'all for always choosing and seeking Jesus each and every day. Thank y'all for pouring your heart out to him. Let's thank y'all for making his ministry continue to grow and expand each and every day. It's because y'all guys who take y'all time out just to listen, just to watch and participate. And this service, words cannot explain how thankful and grateful and honored and blessed I am for every last one of y'all. Thank y'all so much from the bottom of my heart. Words cannot explain how happy I am for every last one of y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. I'm always going to let you know I'm so thankful for every last one of y'all. 
Thank y'all for being part of my life and path. And I'm so thankful that I'm part of y'all life and path. I'm so thankful that with God's word and his message that he speak out, that it's, it's helping someone, it's encouraging someone, it's getting someone on the right path, on the right foot. I don't know who it is, but I'm thankful that God has allowed me to minister his word and to me to minister in his ministry for me to help somebody because we all need help. We all need the word of God and we all need to we all need to help one another and, and inspire one another. And that's what God is wanting. That's what he's looking for. And that's why I'm able to do it. And I'm so glad to do it each and every day. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. So if I'm thankful, I'm grateful, not honored, and I'm blessed. How much more do you think I have the Father God is? He is so thankful right now and grateful right now because y'all God's faithfulness and your obedience that you have towards him in this ministry right now. That's why he's telling me right now today to tell you that he is doing something new. It's because of your faith that you had in him, your obedience that you had towards in this ministry. He said, now I'm doing a new thing. If you open up your Bible to Isaiah 43, verses 18 through 20, his words, his promises tell you when you, when you forget about the past, when you're on the well on the, you're on the well on the other things of more, when you start seeking him, when you when you start praising him, when you start worshiping him, when you start putting him first place, he said, then I can come in and do something new right now. God has came in to do some new things in your life right now. He has came in to do some new things in your finances right now, in your health right now, in your dreams right now, in your marriage right now, in your business right now, in your ministry right now, in your child's life right now, in everything in your life. God said he was able now to come in and do a new thing because you don't dwell on the past anymore. You forgot about the former things. So when you start seeking him and you praising him and when you shine out his holy name when you're on your knees, each and every day and every night when you are praying to him he noticed your faithfulness he noticed your obedience he noticed that you're steadfast he said now i can come in and do a new thing at first god can come and do a new thing because a lot of we have a lot of mess in the way we have a lot of junk in the way but once that mess and that junk and that clutter got removed from us you know who y'all he said then i'm able to come in and do a new thing but I'm going to go a little farther with this and a little deeper. Can I go deeper with you today? Well, if you turn your Bibles to Ecclesiastes 3 verses 1. His word says, there's a time under heaven for everything. It was a time when you planted that seed that you didn't see that seed grow. It was a time when you thought God had forgotten about you. It was a time that you questioned God. It was a time that you doubted God. It was a time that you was going to throw in the towel, but God threw the towel right back at you. It was a time that you was going to walk away because you didn't see any movement at all. But God said, now is my time for me to do something new right now. He said, it's my time now. He said, I can't do it later because it's on my mind right now. He said, I can't do it tomorrow because tomorrow's not promised. He said, I can't do it next week because next week is not promised. I can't do it next month because next month is not promised. I can't do it next year because next year is not a problem. He said, I have to do a new thing, but he said, I have to do it now. He said, I got to bless you with your blessing right now. Your breakthrough right now. Your anointing right now. Glory, hallelujah. Your deliverance right now. Your more than enough right now. Your double portion right now. Your abundance and overflow right now. Your harvest right now. I'm manifesting to you right now because I'm doing a new thing, but I'm doing it right now. If you believe it right now, and you declare it right now, and you stamp your name on it right now and you decree it right now in the mighty name of Jesus give God some thanks right now give God some praise right now give God some glory because he's doing a new thing in the month of July in 2019 get ready to receive your open doors get ready to receive that phone call that email that text message get ready to receive your connection and your resource because God is doing a new thing but he's doing it right now and I believe it right now I declare it right now that it will come to pass because because I'm prophesying on right now today. I'm speaking over every dry bone right now today. And I'm manifesting that it will and it shall come to pass. In the month of July in 2019. Glory, hallelujah. I said it. It's done. And we ain't taking no for an answer. Amen and amen. I get so excited. 
I get so excited. It's like my first day preaching the word of God. I've been preaching now about six years now, and I get excited like it was my first day. And every day when God speaks to me and give me a word, I get so excited just to share his word and to share his message each and every day to all my brothers, all my sisters around the world. And God told me to tell you right now today that I got you, you all I need, and know that I'm God. You got to know who he is when he said, I got you. You got to know who he is when he said, all you need is him. You don't need nobody else but him. Somebody need to hear this word right now today. Somebody need to hear this message right now today. Get ready. Somebody's about to be blessed today through this word. And somebody's about to be moved through this word today. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Before I get started, I always like to take the time out. To give our Heavenly Father God all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Oh, Heavenly Father God, this came thanking you for this awesome and beautiful blessed day today. I came thanking you for this word right now. I came thanking you for this message right now. I just came thanking you for the air that we're able to breathe right now. I just came thanking you for our help and our strength right now. I just came thanking you for your grace and your mercy. Hallelujah. I can't thank you enough for the food that you have blessed and prepared and put on our table. The clothes and shoes that you put on our back. I just can't thank you enough for how you provide it. How you making a way out of no way. I just can't thank you how you moving and mouth on my behalf right now. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus, that we able to seek you in your kingdom each and every day. That put our faith in you each and every day. Our trust and also our hope, God. I just came thinking for your love. I just came thinking for your faithfulness. I just came thinking for your protection. I came thinking for the Holy Spirit. I came thinking for your angels that's joining us in praise and worship right now. I came thinking for our blessing right now. Our breakthrough right now. Our anointing right now. Our deliverance right now. Our double portion right now. Our more than enough right now. Our overflow right now. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus, that we can always call and count on your holy name, that we're dependent on you right now, and that we're relying on you right now, Father God, and we know for a fact the only thing we need is you, God, so Father God, I want to let you know right now today, I can't thank you enough, I just can't thank you enough, I just can't thank you enough, Jesus, 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 I just can't Thank you enough, Jesus. 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 I just can't thank you enough. That's why I praise you the way I do, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I put all my heart into you every day, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I put my faith, my trust, my and my hope in you every day, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I love glorifying and shouting at your holy name the way I do, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. 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 Glory to God. I just can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough. In Jesus' holy mighty name, I just can't thank you enough. Amen and amen. I got you. You don't need nobody else in this world but me. I was God when the world was empty. I was God before I created the dinosaurs. I was God before the caveman. I was God before, the, before it was night and day. I was God before it was stars in the sky. I was God before Pluto, for, for, before Neptune, before Jupiter, before Saturn, before Uranus. I was God before everything and I still am God. I was God before the animals. I was God before the, the birds and the bees. I was God before mankind, and I am still God right now today. But God is telling me right now today that a lot of you right now today, you don't realize who he is. Because you are counting, you are dependent, and relying on everybody else, but you're not counting, dependent, relying on the one who always was there from the beginning. Before the word, it was God. Before the world, it was God. And it's still God right now today. Your mother's not going to always be with you. But God is always going to be with you. 
Your father is not going to always be with you, but God is always going to be with you. Your wife is not going to always be with you, but God is always going to be with you. Your husband is not always going to be with you, but God is always going to be with you. Your children is not always going to be with you, but God is going to be with you. Your family is not going to always be with you, but God is going to be with you. Your so-called friends, your so-called neighbors, your so-called people at the church, your so-called co-workers is not always going to be with you, but God, good God Almighty, will always be there for you. You got to know who he is. You got to know who he is. And the only way that you got to know who he is, a lot of you right now today, you don't have a committed, a dedicated communication relationship with Jesus. That's why you don't know who he is. I'm just keeping it real with you. And I'm telling the truth. And there's a lot of people at church right now today don't know who God is. You can shout. You can hoop. You can holler all day long at church. But you still don't know who God is. Because if you did, you would not be going to your pastor and everybody else with your problems. When you need to go to God. When he said, I am God. I was God before you even knew that pastor. I was God before you knew that people at the church that you was tending to. I was God then. I'm still God right now today. I'm still alive. I'm still performing miracles. I'm still performing blessings. I'm still right here doing the same thing I did over 2,000 years ago. And I'm still doing it right now today. You got to know who he is. All you need is Jesus. All you got is Jesus. You don't got nobody else in this world to call on, to count on, depend on, and rely on but Jesus. He is the only one, the Alpha and the Omega. When I'm going through something, if I need some help, all I know I got is Jesus. Because I tell you one thing, my brothers and my sisters, you can be going through something. And you can sit there and tell somebody what you're going through. Next day, you know, they might not say not then, but later somewhere down the road, they're going to tell somebody what you told them. But if you tell God something, it's a secret between you and him. A lot of you right now today, you're so quick to tell your family members what's going on in your house on the relationship. And as soon as you get mad, as soon as your family members get mad, what's the first thing they do? They bring it back in your face, everything that you told them. You're so quick to tell your homeboy, your hunger what's going on. And as soon as y'all ain't friends no more, what's the first thing they do? They put it all on social media. Some of y'all so quick right now today to tell your pastor what's going on. And so you tell your pastor he have a meeting about it in, in church service. Then you're looking, then you're looking dumbfounded like, I thought I really, really confided in you, pastor. But now you're telling the whole congregation what, what I told you. And the reason why you did it because you didn't know who God was. You don't have a relationship with him. You're not committed to him. You're not dedicated to him. You, you actually don't know who he is. You have to know who God is first to know for a fact that's the only person that you need is him. And a lot of you right now today, you don't know who God is. You might have heard about him. You might even see him on TV. You might even saw him on a picture. You might even saw him on a magazine. But you don't know who he is personally. Because if you did, you would not be relying and counting and depending on everybody else. As soon as you get a raise or a bonus, the first thing that most of y'all do, you'll give man praise instead of God. Not knowing that God was behind the scene. God will made that happen for you to get that promotion. God will made that happen for you to get that job. God will made that happen for that phone call to go through. For that email to go through. For that text message to go through. For that miracle to go through. For that blessing to go through. For that breakthrough to go through. God was behind every scene of the situation. But you'll still to give man praise and you won't even get God praise. Didn't know that God was the one who did it. You don't even acknowledge God. But you'll acknowledge everybody else besides our Heavenly Father God. I know I'm speaking some truth right now today, but I'm just telling you how it is. I'm telling you how it is. You got to know who he is. You got to know that he's God. You got to know for a fact that you don't need nobody else but him. Because everybody ain't got your back like God got your back. And they tell you that in the book of 1 Chronicles 17 verse 20. He said whatever it is that's in your mind, he said do it because I got your back. Everybody ain't got your back. Your parents ain't got your back like God does. Your spouse don't have your back like God does. 
Your family members don't have your back like God does. And your children don't have your back like God does. Your co-workers or people at the church will not have your back like God. And the only way that you know God to get your back, you have to have a relationship. Psalm chapter 62 verse 8 says, trust him at all times. And the reason why y'all can't trust him is because you don't trust yourself because you don't know who God is. He said, trust him in the ugly place. Trust him in the storm. Trust him in the wilderness. Trust him when things that adding up. Trust him when things that making sense. But you got to know one thing, that he is God. You can't trust him because you don't trust yourself. You can't trust him because you don't know who he is. I know this. Please turn your back before the reader. Psalm 46. And we're going to read verse 10. That's Psalms chapter 46. And we're going to read verse 10. And if you have your Bibles open up the church, say amen. Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations and I will be exalted in the earth. And the reason why God say, David say, be still and know, you got to know who he is. And the only way that you can know who God is, if you have a personal relationship with God. If you are committed to him, you are dedicated to him, if you are hungry for him, and if you are thirsty for him, that's the only way that you're going to know who God is. Everybody's not hungry for God. Everybody's not thirsty for God because everybody don't know God. Because everybody don't have a committed and dedicated and a personal relationship with God. That's the only thing that he wants. That's the only thing what David is saying in this text. He said, be still. The reason y'all can't be still because you don't know who God is. And the reason why you're so quick and so and so as you can run to everybody else because you don't know who God is. The reason why you're counting, you're depending and relying on everybody else is because you don't know who God is. But if you be still and know the same God who created the heaven and earth by himself, the same God who was here before the dinosaurs, before the caveman, before all the wild animals, before the angels, if you know that, you'll be still. If you know what God say, whatever it is that's in your mind, do it because I got your back. You whatever is coming to your mind right now today, you will do it if you know it's, if you know God got your back. When He say trust Him at all times, if you really know God, even though it's looking ugly right now, even though you haven't seen anything happening, even though you haven't seen the sun shine yet. Even though you you still in this you still in the same situation, it's still dark, it's still looking rugged right now. But if you know God, like I know God, you will sit still and still thank Him. You will sit still and still praise Him. You will sit still and still worship Him. You will sit still and exalt His holy name. And the reason why y'all can't exalt His holy name is because you don't know who He is. God want a relationship with you. You should want a relationship with God if you know who he is. If you know, if you can count on anybody in the world, that you always count on God. God said, I will never leave you or forsake you. He said, I will never disown myself. He tell you that in the book of 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 11. He said, I will never, ever, ever disown myself because I'm sent here to bless and to prosper and to help you. God said, I sent my only begotten son to you, my, my brothers, to you, my sisters, to have a relationship with him, to trust him and know that he is God, know that he got your back, that you can count on him, that you can depend on him, and that whatever it is that you are going through in life, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7 say, cast everything to him, because what? He cares for you. If you know God, you will cast your problems to him right now today. But you will cast your problems to everybody else, mostly right now today, especially in the church. You'll cast your problems to that pastor. Your pastor ain't God. Your pastor don't know you. A lot of y'all do the same thing in y'all divorce and when you're having problems in your marriage. You go pay a psychiatrist hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Someone who don't know anything about you from Adam through Eve. Don't know nothing about you but you're telling them. And God is telling me right now today, right now today to tell you, I thought I was your psychiatrist. You don't got to pay me nothing. If you tell me what's going on in your marriage right now today, and if you know if you know who I am, and if you trust me right now today, he said, be still right now in your marriage. He said, I know things not acting right in your marriage. 
I know that your husband ain't acting right right now. I know that your wife ain't acting right right now. But if you trust me and be still, I can turn that marriage around. He said, I know that your child's not acting right right now. But if you know me and be still and hand me whatever it is that's going with your, ch with your child's life right now today, I promise you I can turn your child's life around. He said, I know things not going right in your finances right now. He said, but, he said, but if you sit still and trust me, I already got people lying out. Lined up right now today, they have their checkbooks open that's going to write you a check if you know who I am. He said, I know things ain't going right in your health. He said, but if you know me and know that I'm the real doctor, I'm the real PhD, I got the real medical report, I got the real background. If you trust me and be still and know that I am God, he said, I will hand it to you. He said, I know that your business right now is going down. And right now that you are panicking, you're going through all these loans. you ask asking people to borrow money here. You're going to people ask to borrow money there. But he said, if you know me and be still, I will get you the right business deal. And you ain't got to pay me back. I want to give it to you. Good God Almighty, I don't know who I'm talking to right now today. He said, I know that your dreams haven't came to pass yet. But if you be still, I promise you I can turn your dreams... <laughs> Like that in a second. I know what you've been waiting on. I know what you've been counting on me and depending on me. But he said, if you be still and know that I am God, your dreams will come to reality. My point I'm making right now today, do you know who God is? The point I'm making right now today, do you know who God is? That's my first point. My second point, do you have a relationship with God? My third point, do you trust him? First point, do you know who he is? Do you know who he is? My second point, do you have a relationship with him? My third point, do you trust him? He is one, two, three. If you don't have neither one of those three, you don't know who he is. That's why you can't be still. That's why you fidgety so much. That's why you're always on the move. That's why you're always on the go because you don't know who he is. If you turn your Bible to the beginning of the world, the beginning of the word of God, the world was empty. It was nothing in it. It was his dog. But who was there? God. He started adding stuff each and every day. Who was still there? God. And who is still right now today? God. When he's telling you to be still, he's telling you to be still because he wants you to trust him. He said, if you believe in me and my words abide in you he said that you can ask anything in his name and he said he'll do it for you didn't he tell you that in john 15 verse 5 this is the will right here the will do not lie does not aspire it don't run out you don't know who he is that's why you can't sit still you don't have a relationship with him that's why you can't sit still you don't trust him that's why you can't sit still that's why you can't sit still. That's why you're always fidgeting. That's why you're always on the move. Because you don't know who he is. God wants you to know who he is. He wants you to have a personal relationship with him. He wants you to, be, he wants you to have a communication with him. An open communication with him. And he wants you to trust him. Then he wants you to sit still and know that I'm God. I can help you in ways that you can't even help yourself. You can't count on nobody, depend on nobody, rely on nobody. But Jesus. That's what David said, be still and know that I am God. That's what he's telling you. He said, I know things not adding up. I know you've been in this drought for, for a long time. He said, I know you've been in this storm for a long time. I know that you've been digging, you've been digging, you've been digging, and you're digging right now. I know that you're tired. I know right now you're on the verge that you want to throw in the towel, but if you know that I'm God, he said, be still. I'm sending help to you right now. I got people right now on the hotline that's about to call you right now. I got people, they checkbooks open right now today, about to mail you that check. I have the right connection. I have the right resources that I'm about to bring to you. I have the right medical report right now today. I am your own psychiatrist right now. Your marriage about to turn around for the good. Your child's about to turn around for the good. Your business is about to turn around. Your ministry is about to turn around. Everything about you is going to turn around because you know who I am and let you know that I am God and you will exalt my name through the nation and you will exalt my name through the earth too. I know who he is. That's why I exalt him the way I do. 
I know who he is. That's why I thank him the way I do. I know who he is. That's why I praise him the way I do. I know who he is because this is personal to me. When the word of God comes personal to me and his promises come personal to me, that means the pain that I go through runs deep because he went through the same pain first. He suffered for me. He died for me. He took that beating for me. So everything about me that stands for God is personal to me. And the reason why it's personal because I know who he is. I have a relationship with him. I have an open communication with him. I can count on him. I can depend on him. I can rely on him. I understand him. I trust him. I know who he is. I might not see a way right now. Things might look where it's look right now. But I'm still being still because I trust Jesus. I trust him. I have a committed, dedicated relationship with him. I'm hungry for him and I'm thirsty for him. That's how I know who he is. Because the hunger that I have for him, I'm always going to be hungry for him. The thirst that I have for him, I'm always going to be thirsty for him. It will never run out. He have enough supply to supply every last one of his children because that's what he want to do. That's what he want to get. But you got to know who he is. That's why I'm always on my knees. Every night and every morning. I'm seeking him. I'm praising him. I'm still standing still. Even though I'm in the storm. Even though I'm in the wilderness. I am still st sitting still because I know who he is. But I'm still exalting his holy name each and every day. I'm still pouring my heart out to him. Because I know who he is. Because at the end of the day, that's all I need. And that's all I got. It's Jesus. Everybody that's going to walk out of my life. Everybody that's going to do me wrong. Everybody that's going to do me dirty. But my Heavenly Father God will never walk out of my life. He will never do me wrong. And he will never do me dirty. That's how I know. That's all I need is Jesus. I don't need nobody else but him. Because everybody else is not promised to be in my life forever. But I know Jesus is. So that's why I'm going to be still. Yes, I haven't seen things happen or come to pass yet. But I'm manifesting they will. And they shall come to pass this year in 2019. Because I know who God is. So yes, I'm going to be still. I'm going to be still. Because I know. Do you know God today? Do you want to know who God is? And if you do, can you please pray with me real quick? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into our life, to guide us, direct us, use us. And I believe right now today, oh Heavenly Father God, by us praying a simple little prayer, that we know for a fact that you are coming through. We know that you're going to provide. We know that you're going to open doors. We know that you're going to make a way out of no way. We know that you're going to hook us up with the right connection, the right resources. And even those things might not look like it's looking like for us right now today. But we're still counting on you, Jesus. We're still depending on you, Jesus. And we're still relying on you, Jesus. We're still trusting you in the dark place. We're still trusting you in the storm. We're still trusting you in the wilderness. We're still trusting you with things not adding up making sense. We are still pouring our heart out to you, Jesus. But the most thing, we're still being still. Because all, at the end of the day, the only thing we got and the only thing we need is you, Jesus. And I believe it right now, I declare it right now today, that somebody's going to know who you are. Somebody's going to open up a, a line of communication to you. Somebody's going to be hungry for you. And somebody's going to be thirsty for you. And if you believe and you declare it right now today, you want that personal relationship with Jesus, I believe that it's done right now today in Jesus' name. And if you ever want to get in contact with me, or leave me a comment, my YouTube channel is with I always keep God first place. Always seek him, always um, praise him, always exalt his holy name, and know that he is God. This is Minister LT. I love y'all. Stay blessed. Amen.